Hi everyone. Today we are playing on Sky Temple. Looks like we are the third pick. And we're waiting for the other players. So Sky Temple, uh, it's the altars uh, that then take shots on your buildings. Important to try to uh, trade whenever possible. And if you have advantage, uh, try to capture both because uh, they do a lot of damage and can clear out uh, camps really easily. Looks like Thunder and Ozzy want to play Dahaka and Illidan. Alright, so... Uh, we... D uh, I would say ban Garrosh. Um, I prefer a ban on Garrosh. Yes. No one wants to deal with Garrosh. Uh... Why I'm not sure why we ban Zul or Azodan as right now we have two soul laners that can easily deal with them. Looks like Axe wants to play Vala. Uh, so we'll need a healer and another tank. Excellent. Or not excellent, but they're banning Tahaka. Um I can play Varian. I have no problem playing Varian. So Axe is gonna go with Falstad as he is a global. Uh or semi global because he can't actually go anywhere in the map. I'm trying to think here. We're going to need some dive, which um, the Illidan will be able to do against those two. Um, I will try to... I Yeah, go with Brightwing. I'm going to go with Varian. Uh, Brightwing is fine. Uh, can give us um, can give us spell armor when we need it. Uh, so I'm saying going taunt. Uh, There as soon as Alright. So I'm just letting the team know that um Varian is pretty much no good until uh level ten, so make sure we get there as soon as possible, please. Uh looks like Ozzy wants to be a murky. Uh which is fine. Uh, they can, uh, he can push the bottom lane, uh, really make a nuisance with the, or yeah, bottom lane, because it's lane with the boss. Give us as much damage as possible. Um, let's see here. With this composition, we would be requiring a lot of damage out of the Falstad. Uh. We do have another soul laner in Sonya. So no matter what they go with, it's basically going to be a uh, protect the Falstad. And Falstad can get zeroed out very easily by the Chromie and Vala. So it is going to be a very difficult match uh, for the Falstad because he will be killed off immediately. I don't think he understands that you also get health increase and taunt. So, that's fine. Uh, taunt to help, but... We don't really have anyone to burst. I can taunt someone, but then... 
Who do we have to follow up with my taunt? Uh, the murky, if he goes March of the Murlocs, will be able to get a good zoning. And then I could taunt someone to keep them in there to increase the damage. Uh, Falstag can use his Q to uh, burst it down a little bit. And then um, Sonya can uh, spear. Alright. Um, I'm not gonna talk. So, let's just hope that we can do. Uh, Murky is definitely going to be able to get a lot of value if he... Um, So Axe is going to require a lot of defensive uh, positioning here. Uh, Sonya is going up to the top lane. Excellent. Uh, I need to get to level 4 as soon as possible so I can get my shield wall. Excellent. I'm not sure why the uh, false dive went bottom lane. And he just goes and dies. Alright, I need to go ahead and dodge that skill shot. We'll just grab this and come back. Well, we if they're fighting over this, we don't need to... Alright, we are gonna go with shield wall here. Okay, let's get hit by the Chromie. Chromie's trying to get her stacks on me as much as she can. Excellent. We were able to get a kill there, and the Vala is staying in the... Um... Bottom lane, Murky has moved up to the top lane. My temple's power has been expended. I'm not sure what the Murky's doing. We just need them to push a lane. Instead, he's losing a lane. Uh, looks like he was able to complete one of his quests. Uh, what quest was that that he completed? So, quest every 15 seconds, break his leg, gain 5 cent bonus. Okay, so... He's just incentivizing himself to, uh, stay alive. That's all. Uh, so, uh, once again, we are down in levels. Um, although we did win most of the shrine phases.
Okay. We are gonna go live by the sword here. The Murky's uh, getting his uh, stacks as best he can with his uh, puffer fish. Ooh, did not expect that. We'll go ahead and heal up. The light of the sun grows within the temples. Soon they shall bask. There we go. Alright. We do have two people in the uh, top lane here, or the middle lane. So all we can do is try to defend them off. Looks like the Murky is pushing the uh, top lane while we're trying to get the... Um, the shrine looks like we've kind of given up on that we do have half the shots remaining and looks like axe is about to die and that's the problem with uh, that's the problem with uh, false that is it he's gonna be zeroed out really really quickly and there goes Thunder. Uh, we are going to go with Taunt here. Okay. Okay. Uh, Axe needs to dodge the skill shots as much as he can because once again zeroed out incredibly easily uh, Murky was able to get most of the top lane and he might be able to finish it off soon uh, we do ha see the chromie right here chromie's dead or not chromie's dead sorry Oh, it looks like they did. She did go blink hill. Oh, dang. Excellent. Should be fine. I'm also gonna go back at full health. Uh, Murky is doing what Murky should be doing, and getting camps and uh, pushing the lanes. So well done by him. I'm very impressed. Game pause there for a slight end. Uh, we were able to get two. Uh, we are gonna go juggernaut damage here. Let's just stay on here. Push. Oh, so we were able to push them back. Oh, Murky died in the bottom lane. I did not realize that. Both of them are now going. Well done. Excellent. 
Excellent. So, we should probably go and take this. Okay. The, uh... Excellent. Well done by the friendly team. <laughs> and then he goes and gets destroyed. Yep. So that's what he constantly has to worry about is, um... Getting zeroed out by the... Uh, Falstad. Or, sorry, not by the Falstad, by the Chromie. Looks like we do have two bribes, so that will help us out a lot. Sucks that he's uh, uh, very disappointed with his performance, but that is fine. Oh, there goes the Chromie. Excellent. Okay. I'm just going to go down to this one right here. Let's see if we can't get several shots off. Dang. Yeah, so that's just the um <clears throat> the false says just not playing very well and that's all that is. It's just not like he's um he has a bad character or anything, he's just getting outplayed really, really, really badly. He has really bad positioning and I played some false tide and he's a Difficult character to understand how to position correctly because he's just he is so deceptively weak and he's see he's seeing the or feeling the um for the glory of the alliance uh he's think the same way. feeling the the downfalls of that hero right now. Okay, good, so they're not That's murky, so he's going to get caught out. Next, we, we are just going to have to back up. They should just bail. I gave them all all the opportunity in the world to just run. Just run. Especially you, Axe. Just get out of there. E out. There you go.
We got caught out and we only lost the tank. That's exactly what needs to happen. Uh, yeah, Falsa needs to fly up, or not fly, but, yeah, so what he's going to do is he should just move over, uh, like, walk over, and then when he, um, if he ever gets in trouble, he can just fly away. So this is... We are going to take a keep and they're going to take a keep, but if we can grab this, we might be able to get two keeps. This one's mine. Press forward. Excellent. Yeah. Once again, that was just him being uh, bad positioning. So, uh, we were able to take two keeps there, and, um, <laughs> I should really just mute this guy. He's not bringing anything to the table. <clears throat> so, as I said, currently right now, um, I think we're doing okay. Uh, the fall stat is dying way too many times. He's going gathering storm, then static shield. So he's he's doing a very poor build, especially if he's going with static storm, because then he can like he should be going with boomerang, or um. Or hammer gains. Or not hammer gains. What's the other one? I forget the other uh, ability is called where it extends it on further. Like he needs to be doing uh, one of those two if he's going to go with hammerings. But if he doesn't then I don't know what else. Oh jeez. Excellent. Alright, and we're able to get away very easily. I'm not sure where... Oh. I'm not sure what he was planning on doing there. I have no idea what he was planning on doing there. My thanks, Okay. That didn't work out at all. The false side dying at the beginning was, or like getting caught out over here was just absolutely terrible. So, 
Looks like the Murky is going to be pushing the core, which he might be able to actually win with this. Oh, especially since he went with Endless. Uh... Alright, pulls them away. Uh, the core is now at 18%. And if we can capture this one back, we will be able to win. Oh, one more shot. GG. Well done. Victory. There's no... Oh. MVP. Sonya did really well as well. Uh, like, I'm not taking that away from her, but uh, the murky, the macro game that he uh, put just made everything so much better. <clears throat> it looks like I was able to get 38% of the team fight damage. So the last fight there, I was just trying to get onto the Chromie and taunt her to try to get some of the damage onto me. Uh, we were slightly favored there. That's excellent. It looks like I was able to get uh, the variant up to level 9 now. Let's look at the stats here. Siege damage, very little. Hero damage, actually. <laughs> so clearly I just did not worry about hitting any uh, any minions. Or Sorry, I had 2 kills, 12 assists, and 4 deaths. The false side had 8 deaths, so he was just dying so easily to the Chromie. Um, a couple times it was definitely his position. Other times... You just get zeroed out by the Chromie so easily. Uh, he should really be um, worrying about his E. or Not that I can do any better, but if he were to see where the Chromie was about to hit her Q, um, and he should E away, either side to side, and thus, because you can only assume that that's where her W is going as well. And you can probably get out of there, and it does give you a shield, so it gives you a better, better opportunity to um, get out. And Brightwing could give uh, Fawcett um, the 15 spell armor as well. But still, he has such a low health pool that he probably would have died anyway. Uh, yeah, so 8 times. I did 16,259 siege damage, 39,805 in hero damage. So I was third behind the Fawcett and Sonya. Uh, damage taken was 83,682, so highest in the game. XP contribution was 9,933. The Murky definitely only had one death in total, so he died four times. Um, and uh, did 21, uh, 21,974 in XP contribution. That really did give us a advantage that way. Uh, kills were even, 17 to 17, but most of our kills, uh, or the mode of our kills was in the Falstad. Uh, followed by myself, but I'm the tank, so I'm kind of expected to die. Uh, so we went with tank variant, which is overpower, uh, shield wall, live by the sword, taunt, juggernaut, banner iron forge, and then glory of the alliance. So this would help us uh, help the bright wing heal a little bit more. Um, banner now increased uh, health regeneration all nearby received by allied heroes by 50%, and the cooldown is reduced by 20 seconds. So I can put this up more often to uh, help the Brightwing passive and uh, heal us up a lot more. But yeah, let me know what you guys think and what we could have done to improve a little bit. And have yourself a great day.